Welcome back, viewers. Today, we will be testing a four hour trading strategy. But before we do, if you have not watched the first video on the channel and all the videos after that, you need to go do that now. Here at the Academy of Forex, we are building the best trading system possible as a team. And as a team, we will all profit from it when we are done. You can find a link to the first video down below in the description, and you should also see it pop up in the top corner right now. There is also a link down below to sign up for TradingView. You can save a little bit of money if you use the link below to sign up for your account. You can also find a link below to join us on Discord. Discord is a free group communication platform where we are having great discussions about all things to do with trading. Lastly, if you would like a list of all the indicators we have tested along with their win rates, but you aren't interested in watching all the videos on the channel, you can sign up for our $9 Patreon and you will receive the complete list of indicators. We also would like to introduce our Patreon exclusive Discord channel. As a $9 Patreon, you will be invited to join an exclusive Discord channel where we will give you a list of winning indicators and links for the MT platform, give you winning strategies, post trade ideas, give advanced advice, and much more. So click the link below to join our Patreon. All right, as I said, today we will be testing a four hour trading strategy. Before we do though, I wanted to put the indicator scoreboard up for everyone to see. So to date, we have tested 290 indicators. And out of those 290 indicators, 114 of them have been winners, which means that they have met or exceeded the 60% win loss ratio threshold that we have set for them. The best ones so far were able to achieve a 100% win rate. Now you need to go back and watch those videos to understand the context of how they were able to achieve that. But as we are working on building the best trading system possible, you could take any one of those 114 indicators and get out there and start potentially profitably trading the markets with them now. So go back and watch those videos, make a list of those indicators and get out there and see what you can do with them. But stick with us here as we work on maximizing your trading profits. All right, so typically on the channel, we are testing indicators, hence the indicator scoreboard that I just displayed. Uh, but once a week, we do uh, test a particular trading strategy. These are strategies that I find on YouTube, uh, different videos that I find on uh, supposed winning strategies. And so uh, this one is quite interesting. So uh, first of all, it is a four hour strategy and the, uh, the original video did test it on the uh, Aussie dollar versus the US dollar. And um, the indicator that was used is called the buy signals and entry points alpha. And so if we jump over here and we start typing that in uh, and entry you can see it is this one right here by this Vladimir under uh, underscore uh, CH and so that is the one you are looking for so you're gonna want to put that on screen uh, let's start with that first and foremost and we will kind of take a look at how the original video uh, explained it and then we'll take a look at just a small tweak I made to help make things just a tad bit more clear. So first of all, this indicator only uh, gives you buy signals and so it does not give you sell signals. So we're only looking for long signals using this strategy. Uh, we will be using a one uh, or a uh, three to one risk reward 
And so uh, rather large risk reward there that we're looking at. And uh, what we are looking for is a market that is making, let me see if I can, here we go, we'll use this as an example, this area right here. And so we're looking for a market that is making higher highs. And so this is how the original video explained it. We're looking for a market that's in an uptrend making higher highs. And so similar to this, where we're making higher highs, we do get a little bit of a stumble here, um, but mostly higher highs. And so you see here that we uh, come up and we uh, start to make a, 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 a higher high or a higher low, I guess I should say. And uh, it comes up and it pivots right here at this higher low. And we have a higher high as well. And then as it's rolling up on this higher low right here, we pick up this tag right here. Um, now, the original video wasn't very clear. Basically, he said that he was going to risk a hundred dollars per trade um and so uh, obviously that um you know was a, a little strange of a way to do it and so my opinion is that you need a, a better kind of fixed stop in place rather than just saying i'm going to risk a hundred dollars and then you know kind of put an arbitrary uh kind of number out there like that so what i did was the first thing that i did was i said the swing low the the last swing low is going to be our stop and so in this particular case it would be this candle right here would be technically the signal candle and so we would go from the close of that and we would go down to the uh bottom very bottom wick of this candle right here that puts us about 54 pips round it up to 55 if you want or keep it at 54 it's up to you then we're looking for three times that for the target and so in this particular case at 50 uh five uh pips there uh we would be looking at 165 pips as the take profit and our stop would be right at this swing low right here and you see in this particular case boom 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 165 is right there and so you see that we came up and we barely caught it right here on this one now the um the one thing that i didn't like about this is that when the original video said that we should be looking for higher highs and higher lows your standard kind of uptrend jargon he displayed an area like this right here where this in my opinion on a four hour chart is not an a, a current uptrend i mean yeah technically speaking you know we were in an overall uptrend but right here we are not making higher highs and higher lows we're actually in a small pullback downtrend right here and he displayed this and said you know hey this is a this is a valid you know point where you could enter right here it's making you know um, um higher highs and higher lows right here I, I disagree with that. And so I needed something to be uh, that was a, a little um, a little bit more defined. And so I threw a exponential moving average on screen and it is set to a 30 period. And it just kind of gives you a little bit uh, a little bit more of a bearings as to, you know, whether you're actually in an uptrend or whether you're kind of pulling back into a downtrend. And so you can kind of see an example right here, like I said, where it definitely looks like it was, you know, pulling back into a, a small drown, downtrend here for a moment before it then, you know, kind of took off. Now, let me um, let me show you kind of what I was looking for. I do have it on bar replay here. I don't know what's going to come up here in the future. So let's go ahead and play it forward and see see what we can get or, or see if I can uh, find an area that uh, of interest that I was kind of looking for show you guys how I kind of tested it so go ahead and play this out here um, you can see here that keeps dropping these um, you know these tags here we're definitely you know working on kind of a steady downtrend at the moment all right so right here you see how we punch up right here um and we are starting to now get above this this ema and so what i'm looking for now is just a small pullback it can technically go under the ema just a little bit before 
uh, then so that's invalid right there. In my opinion, I feel like that breaks the pattern right there. And so I would, um, you know, I would disregard this particular uh, signal right here. Now you could take that signal if you want to, but in my opinion, I wouldn't. What I would look for is, again, let me see if I can find one of these here. You see how it kind of is getting these false breakouts and then continues to just kind of trend downward. All right, right here we're kind of looking good. And uh, see this again, I, I feel like this is an invalid entry because we're not really making higher highs and higher lows. We're in a small downtrend right here. But now if this can pull up, pull back, and then we can get a signal right here before another one of these moves, then that would be valid. Let's see what happens. So this, in my opinion, right here is a, a you know, kind of traditional solid uptrend. So I don't mean to waste a bunch of time playing around. So right here, this would be kind of a valid entry. I'd, I would have preferred if we got an entry back here. And a lot of the times it does in the actual signals. But this right here, I would consider still a valid uptrend. It did kind of stumble here a little bit. Looks like it jumped from one week to another. But this, in my opinion, right here looks like a valid kind of still uptrend. So we're going to count down to right below there. We're at 20 eight pips is what we're looking at and so we're looking for uh, three times that would put us right at uh, 84 85 pips if if you want to you know say that round it up looking about right there is going to be our take profit let's go ahead and play it forward here and it got us to take profit and so this is kind of how i use the ema where we're we're kind of keeping an eye on on the pullbacks if it starts dipping below this ema kind of significantly then in my opinion it's it's breaking that uptrend and it's not really valid Let's see if we can continue to play it on here so here's another instance where you know we get the signal right here but it pulled back so far into this ema below it and we're creating lower lows and you know kind of lower highs that's not a valid uptrend now again in the video it seemed like he was taking those and you could definitely play around with this and see you know if it um you know if it's something that works out let's see if we can catch one more signal here before i display the results i don't want to drag this video out too long because it's already starting to get kind of long and so um let me let me play with it here just a little bit. I'll play it forward, maybe cut some of this video out here so that way I can find uh, another decent little signal here for you. All right, so uh, here's an instance of one that I would consider to be valid. So see here that it pulls, uh, have a this strong push down. We see that it comes up, then breaks down below the EMA just a little bit, but it really doesn't do that lower low lower high type thing that we seen uh, just a moment ago and then you see this big solid spike of this candle right here and as it does we get the signal right here so we're definitely creating a um a higher high and a higher low right here in a swing and so we would again measure down here uh we're looking at about uh, 87 pips roughly and so that would put us at a uh, 260 pip target again just kind of rounding numbers just a tad let's see right about in that area right about there would be the goal let's play this out a little bit here see that stumbling uh, we haven't breached our stop yet Let's play this out a little bit more. It's getting really close to our stop. Still hasn't quite hit it. And there, that one right there actually would have stopped us out right there on that one. Got close, but not quite there. All right, so there you go. That's a, that's a couple of the instances. And it's, you know, you will find the biggest issue that I found with this strategy is that... Um, you know, it you 
don't get that many signals. I had to go back quite a long time to kind of get the, uh, you know, try to try to get in even a, a decent amount of trades. And you will find a lot of times that you get this pull down, you start picking up the signals, these little tags right at the bottom as the, uh, you know, kind of trend starts to weaken. And it looks like you're going to get a decent little, uh, you know, move here back to the upside and hopefully a signal like right in this area and it doesn't happen. You get that a lot where it looks like it's getting really close. Here's another example. Uh, pulls down right here, comes up, has a slight pullback. And I hope right as it starts to round back up, I get that signal telling me to go long. In this particular case, it didn't. You'll get these over and over and over before you finally find one that gives you that signal right at the right place or further up in a definite uptrend. And so, all right, what are we looking at as far as the numbers go? Let me see here. Let me exit out of that zoom in on things here and so i took 40 trades again um i struggled to get even in 40 trades because i had to keep jumping back so far and so far and so far uh this is only one pair and so technically speaking you know you could um you know you could uh you know divide this out across a lot of other pairs but i took 40 trades had 15 wins 25 losing trades. It's a 37%. But again, keep in mind that we're doing a three to one risk reward. And so technically speaking, and this is right about where the video, the original video showed the win rate to be, technically speaking, you could definitely be profitable um, with a risk to reward uh, in that fashion. So using the, excuse me, using the numbers that, uh, the original video uh, used. So you risk $100 for each trade. And so that would be a loss of $2,500. Uh, and you uh, would uh, have a reward of 300 for each win. And we had 15 wins. That would put you at uh, right at 4500 in uh in the you know in the wins and so obviously that's you know going to give you a, a decent little two thousand dollar profit uh yeah so all in all this the strategy really interesting really strange but really interesting it felt like it needs a little bit tweaking a little bit more tweaking and i have a feeling with a little bit more tweaking you could significantly increase the percentage, the win rate of this, and maybe even drop it down to some lower time frames where you could get some more trades. But all in all, this is a, a really interesting and what appears to be a solid strategy. I mean, I don't know across the other pairs and I don't know across other time frames, but yeah, this this strategy might have something going for it. It's it's definitely uh yeah, it's definitely something that is intriguing. So there you go. Check it out, play around with it, throw it on screen, see what you guys can do with it. Tweak it a little bit, add a few other things into it to see if you can't increase the win rate and let me know down in the comments what you guys think about it. Uh, of course, um uh, each week, like I said, we test a strategy. Most of the time, they are nowhere near what the video claims they are going to be. And so in this particular case, it, it was very similar to what the original video said. And so uh, super cool. If you are interested in other strategies, join our, uh, our Patreon and hit up the Discord uh, Patreon only channel where we throw out uh, trading ideas and where we throw out winning strategies and provide all kinds of information to our patrons. And uh, yeah, all in all, if you know, if you guys like what you see here, give us a thumbs up. Uh, we will move on to the next video from here. If you have not already, like this video, share this video, comment below, and subscribe to the channel. Also, turn on the bell notification so that way you are notified anytime I post a new video. So that way you know what indicators we have tested 
and our testing. Also, there is a link down below to join our Discord server, which is a free group communication platform where we discuss all things trading related. There is also a link down below to TradingView, and if you use that link to TradingView to sign up for an account, you will save a little bit of money. And lastly, there is a link down below to sign up for Patreon. Please sign up for the Patreon and support the channel the best way you can.